very good morning today i am going to discuss the scott connection of two transformers which is used to generate the two phase supply from three phase or three phase supply from two phase source the scott three phase transformer was actually invented by a westinghouse engineer charles f scott in the late 1890s at the time of the invention two phase motor loads also existed and the scott connection allowed them to connect to a newer three phase supply with balanced current in every phases so this was valuable for getting equal voltage drop and thus feasible regulation of the voltage from electrical generator a scott connection also known as a scott t transformer is a type of circuit which is used to produce two phase power from three phase supply or three phase power from two phase supply so you can see the circuit arrangement of the scott connected transformer as you can see that the scott connection requires the two transformers out of which one transformer is known as a main transformer which is shown uh by red dotted square and the other transformer is known as auxiliary transformer or a teaser transformer which is shown by the rectangle of dotted blue lines so as shown in this figure the main transformer is center tapped at point d and is connected across the line terminals b and c of three phase side so it has a primary bc and secondary a1 a2 the teaser transformer is connected between the terminals a and d and has the primary ad and secondary b1 b2 frequently identical interchangeable transformers are used for the squat connection in which each transformer has a primary winding of tp turns and is provided with tappings at 28.9% 50% and 86.6% of primary winding turns the figure a and figure b shows the phasor of three phase balanced line voltages and the same voltages are traced on a closed equilateral triangle so magnitude of vab is equal to magnitude of vbc is equal to magnitude of vca is equal to line voltage when we are considering the balanced three phase source let vbc is taken as a reference phasor so vbc is shown as vl angle 0 degree vca is 120 degree lag with respect to the voltage across terminals b and c so it is vl angle minus 120 degree vab leads the voltage across terminals b and c so it is uh, b and c by an angle of 120 degree so it is shown as vl angle plus 120 degree now as d divides the primary bc of main transformer in two equal parts so number of turns at b terminal and d terminal and the number of turns of coil dc is tp by 2 hence the voltages will be vbd is equal to vdc is equal to vbc by 2 which is equals to vl by 2 angle 0 degree now as the d point divides primary of bc of main transformer in two equal part the voltage between a and d is vad is equal to vab plus vbd is equal to 86.6% of vl angle 90 degree so thus the voltage vad in the primary of teaser transformer is 86.6 percent times that in main transformer and is 90 degree from it in time so in other words the teaser transformer has a primary voltage rating that is root 3 by 2 of the voltage rating of main transformer the voltage vad is applied to the primary of teaser transformer and therefore the secondary voltage v2t of the teaser transformer will lead the secondary terminal voltage v2m of main transformer by an angle of 90 degree 
which is shown in this phasor diagram. To keep the same flux in each transformer, the voltage per turn should be the same. And to keep voltage per turn same in primary of main transformer and primary of teaser transformer, the number of turns in primary of teaser transformer in the portion AD should be equals to root 3 by 2 times Tp. So, by considering the voltage ratio and the turns ratio, Vs1 by Vad is equal to Ts by Tad. So, we obtain the relationship that the secondary voltage of teaser transformer is equals to the secondary voltage of mains transformer. The secondary voltage of teaser transformer leads the secondary voltage of mains transformer by an angle of 90 degree, which shows that the three phase power is converted into two phase supply. While connecting the three phase four wire to the squat connected transformer, the positioning of the neutral point is very important. So, here you can see that the neutral point is provided at auxiliary transformer or a teaser transformer such that VAN which is the phase voltage is equals to VL by root 3. So, since the voltage across portion AD is VAD is equal to root 3 by 2 VL and voltage across portion ND will be the difference of the voltage across V A D A and D and the voltage across A and N. So, V and D is equal to V A D minus V A N which gives us V L by 2 root 3. So, to keep the same voltage per turn, the turns in portion A N should be 57.7 percent of T P, the turns in portion N D should be 28.8 percent of T P and turns in portion A D is 86.6 percent of Tp. The advantages of squat T connection are if desired a three phase, two phase or single phase load may be supplied simultaneously. The neutral points can be available for grounding or loading purpose. So, these are the two main advantages of squat T connected transformer. The applications of squat T connection are the electric furnace installation where it is desired to produce or to operate two single phase furnaces together and draw a balanced load from three phase supply. Second is to supply the single phase loads such as electric trains which are so scheduled as to keep the load on three phase system as nearly balanced as possible. And to link a three phase system with two phase system with flow of power in either direction, the squat T connection is used. To obtain the more details, you can uh, refer the following references. Thank you.